comrades good day wherever you are watching me from today we are going to see how to update your server software you just bought a decoder or just want to update it to the latest version because sometimes some applications will not work as except the thing is uh, on the latest version first of all check to see the version of your current software by going to menu going to menu from menu you go to from menu you see the menu then you go to about std then you look at it the software version is 1.51 that is software version the difference between software version and factory version so the software version is 1.51 and the software date is may 2024 so you want to update this but as it stands like this, my 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 software version is the, is the latest so if i do an update it will still produce this one i want just to let you know that when you see this your software version is it software version is 1.51 so you check the number 1.51 and also check the date if it is too back maybe back to last year or last two years that means you are on old version so having confirmed your software date and software version you click exit then you you make sure that your internet is turned on your internet must be turned on if your internet is not turned on you cannot access the page or the panel where you can do that update so you go to menu you click menu once again and make sure your internet might can see my internet is turned on here my internet is turned on here so I'm good to go then having got to know menu where I go to I go to tools tools app is a different this tiger so your own your own decoder may have a different name but anything tools just make sure that you get to tools tools app click on it then you, you can see these are the tools app or the app then scroll down there's another arrow here arrow here so you have to scroll down press the button then you see your factory update is here you can see the factory update and you see the online update so any of the two can do the work factory update this one is showing you the factory update you don't need this then you go to online updates sorry you go to factory updates the factory updates you can see you can see yes this is where you see it this is the update that we are talking about that our update was in May so this is the this is the this is the, this is the, the, the current uh, software update software update the software your decoder software is different from your factory software so the decoder software is it is stuff it is so you, you you see here you come down you see load and you see a green button there so you go to your to your remote country you see this green button here you press it when you press it it will bring this you can see then you see you can see it you can see what pop up so you click this you go back again you can see when you click on the software on this very one let me cancel it no when you click on the the, the software like number one and click on it see the information so do you want to your your you want to update your boss please all make sure that you have a steady power supply if not if in the process of updating it the light or the power goes off that or you you, you you've ended up um, erasing totally your decoder it goes to boot mode and you need an expert to do that so that's how it is you just click click on this 
if you don't get the next thing you say yes or no as for now i have the latest version so i don't need to update i click no so that's how it is you go back again you see so let's see online updates new new software version 1.144 is found current version is 1.5 so what you're trying to tell me is that the, the one that is found is one v144 why the one i have let me cancel a bot understand do you want to update your boss no so this online update you click the online update it will tell you like my the version is telling me to 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 load is lower than the version i have because my own is already the higher version so there's no need for that i just click no understand so it's either way you want to do it either factory updates understand so you click here you click no because it's updated you go back or you see or use online updates any of them will do the work for you just make sure that what you have here is is not low it's not this one is not lower than this my one is higher make sure that this one here is always higher than this so we're good to go so that's how it is how to update your software thank you very much comrade bye bye